The core piece and the actual innovation of the Turbosyn coupling is the newly developed inner impeller. The inner wheel consists of four segments which are connected with a hub via a bolt in a rotary fashion. After reaching a certain output speed, the segments swivel to the outside. The outer surface of all four inner wheel segments is partially covered with friction pads. With the outer wheel and the shell, which are supported by the hub via grooved bearings, the inner impeller is combined into a Foyt hydrodynamic coupling. For a better illustration of the function, the operating processes are shown with the outer wheel cut off. The input side is marked in red, the output side in blue. The startup process begins hydrodynamically. The speed difference between input and output side, known as slip, declines with increasing output speeds. With increasing output speed, the segments of the inner impeller swivel to the outside until they touch the coupling shell. This is followed by a smooth transition from hydrodynamic torque transmission to a slip-free friction connection. Here is another view of the lockup process between input side red and output side blue from a different perspective. The hydrodynamic transmission of power occurs by a meridian flow of the operating medium between the two bladed wheels. Through the lockup process, the speed difference turns to zero, as a result of which the meridian flow changes into a statically homogeneous oil ring without hydrodynamic power transmission. The Foyt Turbosyn coupling allows utilizing the advantages of hydrodynamic power transmission for the startup process of single drives, while nominal operation remains slip free. Mills, blowers, and belt conveyors are typical application examples. Retrofit solutions are also a viable option because the installation dimensions of the Turbosyn are identical with those of all known Foyt turbo couplings. Foyt Turbosyn, fewer energy requirements, more output, engineered reliability.